There's a big two here. Almost like this is Studio Two. Yes, Maya, thank you. Glad to see we're all on the same wavelength here. He's a great detective, in fairness. She'd have, like, she has Gumshoe's number. Mm. Absolutely, like. See, she actually has her own series of detective games, like uh, the Sherlock Holmes series, where she uh, uses ghosts to solve crimes. Okay. Mm hmm. Serials for making a movie set. Yes. And they haven't been made, they haven't been touched at all. Curious. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> nice flowers, though. They've taken good care of these. Mm -hmm. Well, they're being taken good care of because the fence is protecting them. As you can see. So I guess that's all to see in Studio 2. There wasn't much there, was there? No. No. But we did see that there was dirty plates. Yes, that... That is important somehow. I'm sure we'll find out. Well, where else do you put your biscuits? In a basket? When offering them to get. Well, uh, yeah, I suppose you put them, put them on some form of plate. Although those plates look far too greasy to have biscuits on them. T-bone steak? Is not a biscuit. No, but that, that was what other people had. Do you think it could have been that? Hmm. Maybe they've confused uh, biscuit with brisket, and that's where they're going wrong. Yeah, no, don't laugh at that. That was shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Man. she's back. She is back. And she seems quite happy that we have uh, getting got WP off the uh, off the hook for another day. Phoenix is nowhere near proud of what he did to the old to the to the old bag. I love that. Just like, yes, yeah, we caught her. What what great work we've done. Mm-hmm. Oh so. Yeah, so she's boarded up the drain so that the fanboys don't get in. I mean, I'm not gonna. No, I'm not gonna say my um, like crafting is any way better, but she could have done a bit of better of a job in the ta with the taping area, shouldn't she? Mm. That's a bit of a bit of a um, shit job. But she's an assistant and she's doing her best. Like, what else do you expect of an intern? That's very true. She's not even paid full time. No, exactly. Pay what you, you get what you paid for. Or not in this case. Oh. Uh, okay. Maya has a plan. Yeah, I, I do feel I do feel very guilty for the person who's trespassing. Okay, well you're going along with her crazy idea. We are. This is a, this is our means of progress. This master plan will uh, come in handy very very soon. You can mark my words. <laughs> yes, indeed, the things we do. Okay. Hmm. It's on. The dressing room is still unlocked. <laughs> Maya's uh, clitomania is uh, <laughs> kicking in. I mean, we only we were only there for a few minutes, so like, we and we can get to take something else now. Now we can take the air he breathes in. Yes, exactly. Bottle it instead of knee bait. That seems to be the case. Hmm. That's a good point, actually. 
Will the, the killer must have known that uh, Will Paris was going to sleep. So was he drugged? From maybe. Some of the maybe. <gasps> that is possible. <laughs> Wolfman found on Mars. That's a that's a, that's an indie band, I think, isn't it? Mm. Not very uh, good after their first. No, I suppose not. They seem to be. Uh, they sound like bad singers. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, back again. Yeah. <laughs> Penny is now uh, on guard duty, because again, I think. Uh, I think nothing says like uh, a security guard, like a 16-year-old twig with a stopwatch. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Well, in fairness, they've got a point. Yeah. And those plates are stinking now at this stage. Like that animal. Yeah, you're right. Right. Yeah. That, the animal fat from the steaks is going to take so much to clean up. You might as well just buy new plates. Do you know what is a, a YouTube kind of category is decaying food? And people okay. do like time-lapse videos of their food being decayed by various insects. Right. Um, but it's like one of these like uh, AMSR or... A well, oh, I can never get that second thing right. A um, ASMR. Yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, it's basically videos of rotten food. So I'm sure someone has, you know, this being a film studio, Someone's they could have... Yeah, yeah, mm. it's like a live feed. I mean, it's a very it's a very alternative market, I'll grant you that. Like, <laughs> I don't know what the viewership will be on something like that. I'm sure you could get away with something far more... Um, mainstream when it comes to perversions but look I'm it's, it's 2020 I am not here to judge okay I'm not here to judge if you if you want to watch rotting food on the internet then you do you fam but I will judge you <laughs> accordingly I think everyone accepts that yeah 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 yeah. it, it, it is our, it's our nature after all so we got a bit of detail there about the director and the producer, and um, mostly the, yeah. the director. So he seems to be around. That's that's what we seem to have been getting there from Penny. So let's see if we can find him. You just kind of walk around hoping to bump into him. Pretty much, yeah. This is it. Like uh, the middle of the investigations can be like this sometimes, where he's like, "We we have no leads," and suddenly something appears out of nowhere. Oh. Oh, there he is! Oh, dear God! Look at the state of this guy. Yeah. <laughs> you you're right. And he talks internet. <laughs> yes, his name really is Salmonella. Oh my good God! And he's the director of the Steel Samurai. <laughs> Fantastic. He is he is a director, I wanna point out. Like I do love his get up, right? Ruffle. Like, ruffle. Oh there's Ruffle a thing back then? Yes. Oh yes. Oh. Uh Oh, okay. He's, he's looking at Maya. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> so, yeah, like, I, I, this character probably makes a lot more sense in Japan, where they do tend to take the piss out of, like, sexually repressed, like, young men, young adults. Where it's like, ha, oh, they've discovered their erections, and they don't know how to talk to women. But he's been inspired to create something. Oh, that is... Oh, God. <laughs> the sequel to Steel Samurai, Pink Princess. Because my address is weird. I mean, I love that Maya is, like, uh, is upset at the... 
I love that Maya is upset at the little old Tokyo there, as opposed to, like, you know, being perved on by an adult. That's the thing, that's the thing to that's, be upset about here. That's the, yeah, uh, priorities. Yes, exactly, priorities. So, I, I'm not gonna lie, I do, lo I do love Salmonella's, like, uh, get up here. Like, the fucking sweaty towel around the neck, the greasy hair. The kind of the red thing is, I guess, supposed to be like kind of like a Star Trek costume. That's kind of what they've been going for. They have like he has like little pins on his collar. Oh my god, he's just disturbing. Yes, and he's very very fat, as as has just been established. <laughs> So, Burpa, um, Salmonella, is he suspicious to you? <laughs> uh, yeah, but probably would want to keep him away from those little kids trying to break in more than anything. <laughs> more than likely, yeah, in fairness. <laughs> you got a point there. I mean, he looks like he just wouldn't be allowed outside, point blank. Yeah. Without, just... like, strict supervision, anyway. Yeah, exactly. Like, obviously, he's the stereotypical mother's basement type deal. I guarantee he's on forums going, like, this is what women should wear. Because, oh. again, he's an expert. And they, they're all, they're all, like, they all have, like, animal fur and tails. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what he is. He's got a fursona. Oh, that makes so much sense now. And it's he, a salmon. Yeah. <laughs> salmon. <laughs> That's why he's so sweaty. He's actually just changing out of one of his fur costumes just to talk to, to, <laughs> to us. Like, those things get very, very clammy very, very quickly. Okay, around noon. Mm hmm. <laughs> Great haired geezers. Scowl. Um. Wait, he's, is he upset yeah. because they were old? Yeah. That's and probably, that. like, they were probably looking down at him as, you know, like a fucking weird child man. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Stop yeah. it with the spear! <laughs> if only. I will say, I do like how, like, it's very, um... Like, that character was very on the nose with the perviness. Almost like it's a cheeky commentary on Hollywood. You know what kind of way? Mm. Yeah, that's just me confirming that he is 32 years old. Perving on a 17. C certified nuts! And Japan is far worse because she's far younger than that. Okay. Zero 2 entrance. Oh! Oh! What was that noise? The samurai is back. <laughs> I misheard that. I, it's a dick, 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 dick. <laughs> I, I misheard you there, and I thought you said Slamurai, which is a brilliant name for an action hero. <laughs> oh, that'd be my like a uh, wrestling samurai alter ego. Alter ego, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I can even see the design now. Oh, man, he looks... In my head, he looks fucking deadly. Like, it's literally just a samurai <laughs> in a wrestling singlet, singlet. And it just has a top knot and still has a sword. But he's still wearing wrestling gear. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's 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 beautiful. Cherry blossoms everywhere <laughs> on his gear. Yes. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. We have it. Samurai lads. Change approved. Let's fucking make it. <laughs> Any young trainee well, like, out there... I've got to say, there's probably, like, gaps in the market now for people to take that. Uh, yeah, you would not... This guy, you would not be wrong with that assessment. There's quite a lot of gaps in the wrestling business now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking scorched earth at the moment. So, yeah, you're, you're not wrong there. Whew, Jesus. <laughs> no athletic ability needed. Just be a nice person, please. please. Yeah, please be nice. Just don't be problematic. That's all we ask. We just want to pay. We just want to buy your shirts and like you. That's it. 
Anyway, old bag is old bag is back in town, and she is absolutely livid. Mm, you can tell. Yeah. So she has been um, insulted. <laughs> um, this is kind of funny as well because like she will generally not talk to you at all until you crack her. Okay. Obag is one of those kind of characters where like you know those kind of like weirdly like written sitcom characters that are such awful people, but that's what makes them funny characters. Yeah, Obag like the there. entire yeah, the entire cast of um Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Yes, or um Arrested Development. Like you all know these yeah. are all horrible people and you're laughing at that their misfortune. <laughs> <laughs> That's all she says. I see him again. Take him down. I was like, I said, Miss Allbag, what do you think of this lowly puppy? I see it again. I'm going to take it down. <laughs> Would you like some biscuits? I'm taking them down. <laughs> she, <tackles> um, don't. <laughs> she just tackles a, a like a, a box of Jaffa cakes. Girl! Not even real biscuits. Turned off for the day. Mm. 